Okay, you're not going to believe this, but this thing you see behind me here, it looks like a like a little city, but this is actually a house. <laughs> So, welcome to the other Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge video. This is the fun shenanigans, tomfoolery side of it, where you're going to see what we get up to in the background. I stayed in the same house as quite a few other guys. Giles Berry from Air Gun Gear Show, um, Ted Beer from Ted's Holdover, Frederick and Johan Axelson from FX Air Guns, Jonathan and Evelyn and Alex from FX USA, so it was a really nice group of guys, but we had a $39 million house to ourselves. And this place was like a freaking resort. Justin from Utah Air Guns was kind enough to organize this house for a group of us guys, a lot of us shooters, YouTubers, industry guys, and a bunch of us are actually staying here, which is really nice because it's it's kind of like spending time with, with a family. Um, you know, I've got to know these guys quite well over the past few years, get to see them multiple times a year, and to spend a few days with them is absolutely fantastic. And in a beautiful house like this, where we've got all kinds of fancy stuff to do inside, I suppose you could call it a distraction because uh, who wants to, you know, set their gun and zero their rifle when there's a nice swimming pool inside, when there's a bowling alley, when there's a movie theater. So Matt, we're all laughing at Matt. We're not laughing at Matt because we have big sympathy. Matt, what's going on? So I really want to watch a very important rugby match. South Africa is playing against England. And Which we're going to win, by the way. In, no, you're not. We've, South Africa's already won the series, so... <laughs> anyway, uh, it's 10 minutes to go until the match starts. They're probably singing the national anthems now. And the Wi-Fi, which has been working pretty well over the past few days, has just shut off. And I've no way to watch the game. So, so I'm pretty all, grumpy right now. <laughs> you're all dressed up with nowhere to go, look, aren't you? Yeah, pretty He's much. He's got his top on and everything. But we have got a nice view. There's so much room. He misses uh, qualifying for the 100 yards by this much. I mean, he missed by this much qualifying. And I said, oh, you know, that kind of terrible. He's like, yeah, you know what? I had a good time. I competed well. You know, it's just the way it happened this time. And then you can't connect to rugby, and, and that's when you see him go stone faced this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After the prize giving, all the kind of FX and Daystate guys and all the YouTubers got together, sat in a big hot tub and just put the competition behind us no matter how we did and just had a good time catching up, chatting, sharing funny stories of stuff that happened to us while we were out here. Uh, there were some particularly funny stories that came from uh, Claudio and Alvaro. Yeah, it was just great camaraderie, great spending time together and definitely looking forward to doing the same thing next year. After the competition ended, a lot of us kind of stayed over for a few extra days and um, we had a bit of time to do stuff. So myself, Giles Barry, Ted Beer and Frederick and Johan Axelson, we all decided we'd go out and explore Utah a little bit. So we drove about an hour or two out to a mountain, mountainous area, mountain resort called Park City, which is a ski resort. Obviously, in the summer though, there's no snow there. So we decided we'd go up a ski lift and just go for a few hikes and enjoy the time up there in the mountains. What we didn't know though is that Giles had a bit of a fear of being suspended really high above the ground with nothing supporting him but a big steel cable. So we went up in the ski lift and we started realizing that, that Giles wasn't very comfortable. It was a little bit comical and, and quite funny. We got to the top, we went for some really nice hikes. It was a great way to kind of wind down and enjoy seeing a different part of the world. And then we found a zip line. We thought it'd be quite fun to go down there. And um, Frederick is, is a little bit of an adrenaline junkie. So Frederick obviously wanted to go down that quite badly. We going to take the zip. 
The zip. 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 Right, we got that on video. The zip line. <laughs> the zip line. <laughs> the zip line goes all the way down. And then we don't have to walk, which is very nice. Yeah. Because yeah. it is quite warm. It is very warm. Yeah. You've got nothing. You've got nothing on your feet. Yeah. I actually How? Feel How? The warm sand. <laughs> this just, it's just, it's, it's. No, okay. You must have really, really hard skin. Yeah, I do. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how to fold this stupid thing. That'll work. <laughs> we ended up not going down the zip line. I think probably because we were carrying too many bags and stuff mm -hmm. and I didn't have shoes. So I probably wouldn't have been allowed to go down there. Um, but we went down one of the, the ski lifts and it was quite a... It was quite a laugh. Ted and I went down together. Giles was behind us. And just watch how this plays out. <laughs> Giles is on a chairlift right now. We're going down, a, down the mountain. And we just heard him say, um, I'll be honest with you, I'm quite terrified right now. <laughs> and we're on our, on our way down now, and we can hear him um, panicking, so. <laughs> We're oh, enjoying ourselves. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd be terrified, but I just No, you made it good. You did it. Watch yourself. I, I gotta say, okay, I've chatted. Let the, let the man relax. Watch, watch your back, Frederick. Yeah. I, 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 I just spoke to the camera all the way down, and I have to say that worked, because uh, I do get scared of heights, but I just, as you'll see, it goes on Facebook, I just chatted all the way down, and that was really, really serene. That was... That's something special. That, there's a memory right there, and right when there. You're looking down, did you do that? I looked down and I looked at my feet, and I just thought, nice feet. <laughs> nice feet. Yeah, not quite as good as yours, but um, superb. Absolutely superb. Enjoyed that. It was a fantastic day, and we arrived home in the evening to find all the guys from Utah Air Guns just chilling at the house. my coverage of the Rocky Mountain Air Gun Challenge and the shenanigans surrounding the tournament to an end. Uh, thank you so much for watching, it was a fantastic time and definitely stay in touch because next year I'm going to be going back there without a doubt. I absolutely loved it and I'm sure we're going to have even more stories to tell. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.